I want to share a new technique using mono printing and a jelly plate along with deli paper. I found that it brings a lot of creativity to my work by exploring various color palettes and patterns. You can collage them with this thinner transparent paper for what I have found a better blend within my artwork. Now of course you can use any type of craft paint. Uh, the secret I have found that uh, don't use too little or too much paint. But let's jump into this and let me show you how I did it. I'm adding a couple of different colors on the jelly plate. It's a little bit more transparent than I'd like, so I'm going to add a little bit more. From there, I'm going to take the brayer, roll it out where it's not too thin, but not too thick either. From there, with this first one, I'm going to lay down a stencil and then put the deli paper on top of it. When you push down um, on the deli paper, I'm trying to bring up some of the color that's not within the stencil itself. You can use this paper uh, for future art projects itself. Uh, make sure you really press it down well uh, to remove it and then remove the deli paper. The most exciting part is once you lift the stencil itself, go back in with new deli paper, put it on top, really press that down to pick up that print. And this is so beautiful that I can use it in another art piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the deli paper, I'm going to add Golden's Matte Medium, apply to the back of the deli paper and also to the canvas. From there, I'm going to take a catalyst and then kind of rub over the paper itself. Uh, it's that adhesion we need and to remove any air bubbles that you might have. Um, be careful not to tear the paper. It is um, very thin itself, um, but you want to make sure it's secure also. So next, I'm going to start adding the underpainting to Willow. Um, at this point, I'm just kind of blocking in color. Yes, this is oil paint because I do want a lot of translucent layers. It's not accurate at this time frame, uh, but it's the first layer. You'll see that I move color around her. I want to be able to not just have it in one place. It kind of keeps that movement um, of the color as it dances around the portrait itself. I found with me, if I just paint in one area and then I go on to the neck or I go on to the shoulder, each one's going to have a little bit different um, ways of layering. So I found I kind of paint all over. So there's always an ugly stage, uh, but that's what's exciting. I'm always excited when things start to come together and her flesh is looking really pretty at this time frame. Um, I'm always adjusting and I keep adding the color to say, okay, what's next uh, for movement? Um, and a lot of people will ask, well, when do you know it's finished? Uh, I just keep painting till I feel like there's nothing else I can really correct at this time frame. Uh, I do wait a couple of days for it to dry to really uh, check different angles of the painting to be able to see if I need to make adjustments before I do any type of varnishing. Uh, also, forgive the background, it went from, you know, a little bit warmer to the white. I'm moving around my art room. That would be another video which I'm really excited about. Um, something new that's coming in and I hope that's going to help me out uh, with all the editing and the video and the lighting uh, so I can keep it in one place instead of having to move it around a million times. So I hope y'all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please leave me a comment. Please share uh, with your friends. I'm trying to grow the uh, channel community. I would love to know what y'all would like me to paint or explain. I do a lot of different ways and I think that's the most exciting about art. It's not just one way. Uh, but would love to answer any questions that you may have. Y'all have a great day till the next video. Take care.